Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Okay, we're live. I'm Jay Fidel, and I'm happy to be here. This is Think Tech Hawaii on a given Monday morning at 11, the 11 o'clock block. We have a special show today from New Valley Middle School. We'd love to have them come around, take a look at our studio, tell us what they're doing. Um, the pr principal of New Valley is uh, Sean Tajima. He's here. Hi, Sean. Okay. And the vice principal is Derek Suida, and he's here too. Hi, Derek. Okay. And we have three, and another three waiting. First, the ladies, right? Ladies first, right? Okay. To my left, we have Megan. Say hi. Hi. Good, good job. Uh, say, uh, Audrey? Hi. Hi, more. Hi. Uh, more. Hi. There it is. Okay, and Natalie? Hi. Good job. Okay, you guys are in the, in the, in the middle, in the U of Al Middle School. Megan is in the sixth grade. Um, Audrey is in the eighth grade. And Natalie is in the seventh grade. You guys know each other? Not really. Okay, you're, you're meeting each other today. That's because there are 15 kids out there. Everybody's meetings and parents and everything. We, we, we got to get some pictures of all you guys. And we're showing pictures. We have pictures of, you know, taken around the school. So uh, let me ask you some questions about, you know, what it's like. First of all, everybody who likes the U Valley Middle School, raise your hand. Okay, all right. All right, favorite class, Megan? Uh, math. Math. Interesting. Why math? What is it about math that you like? Um, I like math because it's a lot of critical thinking, and there's a lot of rules you have to remember, but um, if you remember the rules, it's really easy to do. All right, excellent. Okay. Uh, Audrey, what's your favorite class? Science. Science? Yeah. Okay, what are you studying in your science class these days? The universe and everything in the universe. And everything in the universe. The universe. Ooh, this, that's, that's as big as all outdoors, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and uh, Natalie, what are you studying? Um, my favorite is math. Math? Yeah. yeah. Is your reasons uh, the same as Megan, or you have yeah. different reasons for liking math? You like the critical thinking part? Yeah. All right, okay, yeah, okay. Um, okay, now I need to know who your favorite teacher is, Megan? Um, my science teacher. Science teacher. Name? Mr. Cagle. Okay, Mr. Cagle, all right. Okay. Um, and what about you, Audrey? I don't have a favorite teacher. Okay, very diplomatic of you. Yeah, very. You know. <laughs> um, okay, and uh, we're going to Natalie now. Your favorite teacher? Um, I like all of them. Too. You like all of them? That's a good answer. Yeah, <laughs> but we like the people who are willing to commit. So good for you, Megan. All right, let's talk about your science projects. You each have science projects, okay? And uh, we need to know about them. We need to know what it is, why you selected that, what you're doing on it, what you've learned so far. Okay, Megan, you want to start? State the case. State the situation with your science project. What are you doing? Um, so in my, sci or, or my school project, um, it's a science submarine. We have to um, make our own materials or uh, make it, and then we can do it by ourselves so we don't have to follow any directions. Um, I learned a lot about buoyancy while doing it. About okay. buoyancy? Yeah. Yeah? And, okay. And uh, fluid pressure. Fluid pressure. Wow. Fluid pressure in New Valley Middle School. This is important. Uh, what is fluid pressure? Uh, fluid pressure is when um, an object goes into a water. The, the water is pushing on all sides. So like if the bottom, the under the object, is the fluid pressure is stronger, it'll push up. So that's why it floats. But if the... Um, object is heavy enough to push down, it'll um, sink until it floats. Okay, all right. And how, and how are you going to present your the findings in your science project? Do you make a poster? Oh. Do you give a talk? How do you do that? Um, we made a submarine with plastic bottles and rocks so it can help sink it, and then we put it in the fish tank to um, show the class. Oh, are you gonna, so you're going to wind up showing it to the class? Or, yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you told them yet what your project is, or is it a secret? Oh, um, no. I, no, it's not a secret? No. Okay. I mean, we like to reveal hot news secrets here on ThinkTech, so it's okay, though. It's okay it's your public. All right. Do you get any feedback from people about what they think about your project? Um, they said it was, like, really easy to build, so, yeah. And how many of you are on the team? Is it just you? It, 
Uh, it's me and one other person. Okay, two. Mm. Okay. And how about your team, uh, Audrey? Uh, do you have more than you? How many people are on your science project team? Just me. Just you. Okay. And what is your science project? Uh, for science fair, I did a science project on acid rain and how it affects plant growth. And then I found out by testing on different types of plants and using vinegar and water to water them. And I found out that uh, acid rain has a negative effect on plants and makes and it does, they don't grow as much when they're watered with acid rain. Wow, how, and how, are you preparing posters or, um, you know, scientific experiments or um, demonstrations? Uh, what are you preparing in your science project? Uh, I went to district science fair, so I made a board and I put my graphs and data tables. Yeah. And then I, like, I presented it to all the judges and then I told them about how acid rain negatively affects plant plant growth and stuff. Did you, um, did you win? I don't know. We don't know. Oh, you don't know yet. Mm -hmm. So you might go to the statewide fair, eh? Maybe. Okay, I'll be there. If, if I'm there, will you look, talk to me when I come around? Yeah. Be with a camera, you know, we always do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, great. Um, so, um, um, uh, did you go to the science fair before? Is this the first time? This is the first time oh, I this went. This would be pretty exciting, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's fabulous. Okay. Um, okay, and finally, Natalie, um, what's your project? Um, I basically just tested how the color of roofs affected the temperature of the houses because in sixth grade we had this um, heat of the moment project which is where they said that the color of the roof affected the temperature so I wanted to see how much it would affect it and then after my experiments I found that it only affects it by like one or two degrees. Okay. Are you going to be in the science fair also? Have you been in the science fair? Um, we just had the district science fair, but um, I wasn't able to make it, so my okay. partner went for me because I had a math counts competition. On the <laughs> okay, well, after all, you know, that's of interest too, so you have to make choices in life. Yeah? So um, what, is your, uh, what is your hypothesis and your conclusion? Can, can you talk about that in your project? Um, my hypothesis was that the darkest colored roof would be the warmest and the lightest colored roof would be the coolest. And um, my conclusion was that my data supported it because um, the lightest color was the coolest. That was pretty good. You guys are terrific. I really, you know, you, you have to be able to articulate mm -hmm. and, and tell us what you're doing. You know, otherwise it's a vacuum. As our last uh, guest said, it's an atomization which is the ultimate silo kind of thing where you don't talk about it, have to talk about it. So, um, okay, let me ask you, um, Audrey, mm -hmm. um, what was your hypothesis and what was your conclusion? I know the science fair requires you to think that yeah. through, yeah. My hypothesis was if the pH level of water is decreased, then the plant growth will decrease because the acid rain will wash away the nutrients and minerals in the soil so that the plants can't grow. And then my conclusion was proven because on two of my experiments, the acid rain plants didn't grow as much as the ones watered with regular water. Can you tell me why? Because the, the acid in the water uh, washes away the minerals and nutrients inside the soil so they can't grow. Hmm. What are we going to do about that? I mean, as a world as a planet, what are we going to do to stop acid rain? Well, we can use renewable energy sources so that the carbon won't go into the air and cause acid rain, or we could find a way to like, modify our plants so that they're more resistant to acid. Megan, doesn't she want to make you want to go to the science fair as soon as you can? Yeah. Are you going to go visit? Are you going to go visit? Maybe you should visit. Anyway, take a look. Yeah. Maybe you can, you know, be a judge. <coughs> so do you have a hypothesis and a conclusion you're working on in your project? Uh, not really. Um, uh, but I think that if the um, rocks that we put on the submarine um, will make it sink if it's heavy enough, and when I blow air into a, into the tube, into my um, submarine, it'll fill up with air so it can um, float back up. Yeah, you know, this sounds like a submarine, like a, like a submarine out of Pearl Harbor with ballast. Have you hear that term, ballast? And then they blow the air out and they surface right away. It's, 
amazing how fast that works. It's really oh, incredible. Like so, <clears throat> so what do you think about science? I mean, I know you like math, and I wouldn't denigrate math at all because I like math too. But what do you think about science? Is this something that you could learn to really like and and study? You know, year after year in school. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, do you have any thoughts about what subjects you would study in science? Uh, maybe like the chemistry stuff. Like all the chemicals and elements. Okay. And uh, do you have any thoughts about going into like medical science or research? Mm. If it's too early, just tell me, Jay, it's too early. Um, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you, you're still working on that. But who knows? Because if you like science, the world is your oyster, yeah. And what about staying in Hawaii? Well, you know, because there's a lot of science that happens on the mainland or who knows where in the world. Um, would you stay in Hawaii to do your science or would you would you leave? Mm, maybe I would uh, leave and go around the world to see and explore because um, in the world, many different parts have like many different things. It's not all the same, so I could go look and research more. Yeah, would you come back? Yeah. Would you come back to work and live? Mm, yeah. Okay. Would you come back to work and live? Yes. We want you back. <laughs> okay, Audrey. What about your plan? Um, are you, do you like science? Do you like science um, you know, best? Do you like science enough to take classes in, in school going forward? Um, what's your thought about that? Well, I like science, but I don't think I would I don't think I would want to do that something with science as my career because it, it's not really like what I plan to do when I'm older. Ah, what are you planning? You have a plan. Mm. It doesn't have to be a final plan. Not, a temporary plan is good enough. Not really, but I really like language arts. You like what? Language arts. Ah. Okay, language arts. That's a long way from science. Mm -hmm. The one side is on this side of the brain, the other one's on that. So it's okay. You can have a brain that does both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Do you have any plan? What school? What um, what in language arts? Um, I like creative writing. Creative writing. So you like to write. Mm -hmm. Ah, we found out your secret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You found it you're here on Think Tech. Okay, now Natalie, what about you? Do you have any special feeling about science? Do you think that science is in the long-term future for you? Yeah, I'm thinking of becoming a software engineer when I grow up. Software engineer? Oh, why? Um, so I was part of um, New Valley's FLL um, Robotics Club, and it was really fun. You've done robotics yeah. at New Valley Middle, Middle School. Yeah. That's fabulous. Yeah. All right. So what, how far did you get with it? I mean, what, what sort of moves did you make the robot do, the robotic thing do? Um, so there's these missions that it's supposed to complete, and then the robot with the most points wins. So we won in the district competition for, like, robot performance. We got first place. And then we went to states, but we got, like, second in robot performance. Pretty good. Pretty good. You guys are all achievers. I know that. I can tell immediately. Okay, now we're going to talk to your friends. See that camera? That's camera number one. That one right there, see? So all your friends are out there. Okay, and you can say something to them. You can say anything you want. Make it nice, though. All right? Megan, you first. What do you have to say to your friends and your mom and pop? Um, I want to thank them for helping me be able to do a lot of science because um, they really support me in science. All right, excellent. Good job. All right, Audrey, talk to your friends. You can say, you know, you can say things that are not, you know, not perfectly nice. <laughs> you can use some of that critical thinking if you want, but talk to them. Tell them what you want to remember. Um, thank you for supporting me in school and helping me with, like, my homework and stuff. Okay. Nice to have friends that help you with your homework. Natalie, how about you? They're, they're your friends. They're all watching. What do you got to say to them? Thank you for being supportive and encouraging. And, yeah. That's it? Yeah. Add something else. Um, and like helping me with science fair and um, robotics and stuff. Good for you guys. You are a credit to New Valley Middle School and to your teachers and parents and, of course, to Mr. Tajima right there. Hi. 
Okay. Thank you for coming down. Megan? All right. Audrey? All right. Natalie? Good for you guys. We're going to take a short break. We're going to rotate out, and we're going to have some young boys come down, and we're going to talk to them about their science project. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Ethan Elm, host of Likeable Science on Think Tech Hawaii. Every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m., I hope you'll join me for Likeable Science, where we'll dig into science, dig into the meat of science, dig into the joy and delight of science. We'll discover why science is indeed fun, why science is interesting, why people should care about science, and care about the research that's being done out there. It's all great, it's all entertaining, it's all educational, so I hope you'll join me for Likeable Science. That's you. I want to know, will you watch my show? I hope you do. It's on Tuesdays at 1 o'clock, and it's out of the comfort zone, and I'll be your host, R.B. Kelly. See you there. We have this crazy thing going on today. I was just walking by, and all these DJs and producers are set up all around the city. I just walked by, and I said, what's happening, guys? They told me they were making music. There were a lot of people that claimed they had no musical talent and then sat down and kind of played some really nice sounds. I like this music. So we do it. Okay, we're back. We're live. I'm Jay Fidel. This is Think Tech Hawaii Community Matters uh, with our special show with New Valley Middle School uh, with uh, Principal Shon Tajima, Vice Principal Derek Tsuiki. Um, so, you guys, let's see, we have now, we have Austin. Say hi. Hi. I'm Austin. Woo. Austin. Good, good, good job. Okay, Trevor. Hi. Austin. Oh, I'm Trevor. Oh, you're Trevor. Austin's here. Okay. And Micah. Hi, Micah. I never met a Micah I didn't like. Huh? Say, say hi. Hi, I'm Micah. Okay, good. Good work. Okay, you guys, uh, you know, you heard the last part. By the way, let's take a moment to look at the mission, the mission uh, statement of New Valley Middle School. Okay. Okay. We envision a generation of young adults with the compassion, competence, and character to succeed in a global community to make a better world. Wow. How much of that do you agree with, Austin? Um, all of it. I knew you'd say that. Okay, Trevor, is there any part of that you don't agree with? I agree with all of you. You agree also. with all of it? Okay. And Micah, how about you? There's nothing I don't agree with in it. You agree with that? Yeah. Okay, all right. So let's start with um, your favorite class, okay? What's your favorite class at school? Um, PE. PE? All right, physical education. That's great. What What do you do there? We, got, uh, we get to, like, play games, run around, and, like, talk with our friends. Okay, all right. Sounds fun. Yeah, I like to come down. Maybe I can be there, you know, lose a little weight. Yeah, you know. Okay, uh, these guys are like the Verizon bars, you know, six, seven, and eighth grades. So do you know each other? Do you know each other? No, I know. Uh, yeah. Okay, you guys know each other. And then I you know. know. Austin, do you know them? I know Mike. Okay, okay. All right. See, it's uh, basically. How big is the school? Um, I would say like about. 9,000. 300. No, way less. No. Yeah. 300. 300. 350. And where is the school? Um, it's located. Don't, don't say Niu Valley. Of course, say Niu Valley. That's where, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Incidentally, I wanted to ask you another question. In what year did they have the War of 1812? 1812. 1812. <laughs> Any disagreement on that? 
No, 1814? Uh, 1820? No, 1812. We're all settled. Good work. Okay. So, <clears throat> who's your favorite teacher? Um, I like all of them. You like all of them? Okay. All right. Is it, in, in all of them, is there anyone that stands out first? Um, not really. Like, not really. They all help, like, with a certain thing. Okay. All right. Um, Trevor, what about you? What's your favorite class and what's your favorite teacher? Um, my favorite class is band. Um, and my favorite teacher is either my band teacher or my science teacher. You have to make up your mind. Which one? Um, my band teacher. All right! <laughs> All right, commitment. <laughs> Okay, Michael, what about you? Favorite class, favorite teacher? Um, I enjoy um, science and band as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have a favorite teacher. I yeah, okay. enjoy all of them. All right, okay. By the way, I notice you guys are all wearing a shirt that seems so similar. Is this a coincidence or what? Is this the official New Valley shirt? Yeah, yes. it's our school. And you're all wearing it for the program today. Okay. You know, can I get one? Or do I have to go to the New Valley school to get one? Um, I believe there's a shop that sells them. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay, let's talk about science, all right? So, uh, my first question is to Austin. Are you doing a science project? Yes. Can you can you state the nature of the science project? What is it? Um, well, what we did was we test. We were trying to find out how to get the most low maintenance fish tank. So, for busy people and um old people that um cannot uh, like really take care of a fish tank, that they can just um, have that set up and just and can just enjoy a fish tank. Uh, you have partners on this project? Yes, I have one partner. One partner. Okay. What's his name, first name? Daniel. Yeah, okay. Well, it could be a woman just as easily, right? Yeah, okay. And um, um, is, is, are you are you going to submit this to the science fair, or is it too early for uh, that? We went to the district science fair, and then now we're just waiting for the result. Okay, so you might be in the, in the, what is it the statewide? Ooh, that'll be exciting. Okay, are you are you do you think you'll make it? I don't know. Okay, we'll see. All right. Okay, Trevor, um, you have a science project too. What is it? Um, I also did a science fair project. Um, it was on the effects of different chemicals and metals on a certain common plant found all over Oahu. Uh, yeah, what chemicals and what plants? So um, I actually used liquids. Uh, I used uh, bleach, uh, mouthwash, uh, vinegar, and I used pennies. <laughs> and what did you find? Oh, and what plants? Uh, I used a portulaca plant. Okay. So what did you find out? Uh, I found out that the mouthwash, bleach, and vinegar were all harmful to plants because based on my results, the plants were um, negatively affected by it. Really? What happened to them? Did they die? Yeah, they died. It's the black thumb. Yeah. How did they die? Was it in pain? No, it was kind of like over time. Plants don't have pain. Like over time. Okay. You mean over time, gradually, they, yeah. they lost their... They lost their their vitality. Yeah. No, that's very interesting. So, if you're talking about science fair, then you have a hypothesis and you have a conclusion. Tell us. So my hypothesis was that the bleach would affect the plant the most because the bleach contains chlorine and that will most likely um, damage the plant the most. And based on my results, my hypothesis was correct because based on its weight, height, color, and from before and after. Um, it got affected the most. Mm, and how about the least? What affected the plants least? I, I hope it's mouthwash. Uh, it's the pennies because oh, okay. the pennies had a neutral effect because the plant actually grew. So, yeah. Interesting. So how did you learn this? I mean, what, what kind of experiment did you fashion in order to, you know, uh, advance your hypothesis and come to your conclusions? Um, so... I bought four plants from a local um, nursery, um, and then I watered each of them with a certain liquid, or in the Penny's case, I you watered them. you have a partner, or is this all you? Uh, I did this on my own. Okay. So I watered them uh, with about a cup of liquid each, 
and I did that for a whole week and then I took pictures in between and recorded down my observations and then I um, measured them in height and weight before and after to compare the amount of inches or grams it lost. That's really interesting. So that's pretty objective. With the pictures you can see, but then if you measure, you have a, a metric, you have numbers. Are you impressed, Austin? Are you impressed with yeah. Trevor's thing? I am. Okay. Good for you. Now, you went to the, um, the district fair. Mm -hmm. What's your chances in the, in the uh, statewide fair? Um, I just hope I make it. Okay. All right. Well, I hope to see you there then, huh? Because I'll be there. That's in what? In late March, April? Yeah? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. At the convention center. Okay. Uh, let, let's talk to you, Micah. You got a, you got a science project, too. Tell us about it. Um, so my project was on various methods to get rid of ants in any area. I, I like to hear about this. <laughs> so we all I, want to get rid of ants, don't we? Yeah, yes. Okay. So I know ants are a very big problem here, especially because a lot of them are invasive species. And um, so I tested three different methods. I found various anthills, and what I did was um, I used three different methods. The first one was I dug up the anthill and I mixed it with soap and water. The other two were I made my own boric acid bait. So um, I put peanut butter, oil, water, and boric acid, and I set that near the nest. And the last one was that I um, poured boiling water on the ant nest. What, you poured boiling water on those poor ants? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't, what, about the, what about the ants' rights? Don't they have rights? Don't ants have rights? They're not very vocal about it, so I don't know. <laughs> Did they say anything? Did they complain? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> What did you find with this experiment? I actually found that my homemade boric acid bait was the most effective method. Say it again. I found that my um, homemade boric acid bait was the most effective method. And because after my first trial, when I went back to test for more ants, I found none. Hmm. OK. So the hypothesis was what? And the conclusion was what? So state, I... state the experiment, yeah. So the hypothesis itself was that the boric acid bait would be the most effective method because it happens over time and it doesn't require all of the ants to be in the same place in order for it to be effective. And um, it was proven to be correct. And that was due to the fact, again, because it was over duration rather than instantaneous um, reaction from the ant hill, it happened over a sequence of time. So it was a lot more effective. OK, I'm impressed. Are you impressed, Austin? Austin is impressed too. Trevor, how about you? He's impressed, I can tell. So does this mean you're going to have a life of science, actually? I actually love science. My, you do? You I, love science? I love science yeah. I've, for a long time. So yeah, if I could get into a career with science or anything in that general field. Want to be a researcher or what? Researcher, yeah, that would be nice. Or an engineer, possibly. All right. I accept that. I, I can see the zeal. I can see it. I can feel it. OK. Trevor, what about you? Um. Yeah, I also love science. Um, possibly I could um, want to become an electrical engineer in the future because I'm interested because last year's science fair project, which went to district, me and my friend um, created a solar powered phone charger, um, a, a portable one. And so it, it, I found the experiment really fun. And so that kind of made me want to look more into electrical engineering. Okay, don't overlook UH. They have a very good electrical engineering department at the School of Engineering, yeah. Okay, wh what about you, Austin? Um, I like science, and I especially like science about animals. Animals, ah, huh? you might be a zoologist. Ooh. We need a zoologist here. Yeah, actually, we need a lot of them. Okay, well, I'm going to give you the opportunity to talk to your friends now, Austin. What have you got to say? See the red light over there? That's the camera that's, that you're going to talk to, and you're going to leave a message with them. What would you like them to take home today? Um, thank you for helping me and um, encouraging me to do my science fair project. And, um, and yeah. That's it. OK, good. That's it. All right, Trevor, what about you? There's the light. Um, thank you for always supporting me and being there for me. Um, thank you for helping me with things I don't understand, and I hope we still can be friends in the future. <laughs> I'm sure we can. <laughs> okay, Michael, what about you? There's the light. Um, thank you for all your support with my science fair project and with all my crazy antics recently. Um, <laughs> and to any of you out there who are listening, 
well, the skyscrapers of tomorrow are built on the foundations of today, so um, thank you, because this can help anyone in the future. You guys are great. You all did a great job. Austin, thank you very much for coming down. Trevor, good for you. Micah, good for you. We wish you all the best in the science fair and in science and software, too. Electrical engineering.